Live team coverage for you on the State of the Union. CBS 46's Mike Dunson is in Buckhead tonight at a Young Republicans watch party. CBS 46's Sean Gables is in Atlanta. She's outside the Union Hall where Stacey Abrams gave that Democratic Party response. Sean? Sharon, that uh, response uh, just wrapped up. We pulled some of the invited guests who were inside when Stacey Abrams delivered her, her speech. Uh, Sarah Amico, who was a lieutenant governor candidate with Stacey Abrams when she ran for governor, you saw the speech. Um, she made history tonight, the first African-American female to deliver the Democratic response. What did you think about it? You know, I think the rest of the country is now in on our secret that Stacey Abrams is a remarkable leader. She's made history many times, and I suspect we'll see her do it again in the future. The IBEW uh, was very uh, responsive. They were the first responders, uh, the first early supporters of her. She chose to give the speech here. Um, do you think that it, that she's going to make an impact uh, nas nationally after the speech? Absolutely, and I think it's a great message to send having this here in a labor hall in the South. You know, I run a unionized trucking company. We have more than 2,000 Teamsters and machinists in our business, and a lot of people forget that here in the South, we still have unions. They yeah. still have a great bed of support, and they've been great friends to the Democratic Party. Well, Sarah, I appreciate it. Real quick, State Representative Al Williams, you're from Midway, Georgia. You were invited. How were did you figure out why you got the invite list? Because very few people were invited for this. She was my seatmate for eight years when she was leader of the state house. And what America saw tonight was truly one of the bright stars in Democratic Party. And this is the direction that America is headed. Okay, well, I appreciate you both. I'll let you go uh, to bed because it's very late tonight. Uh, our colleague, Mike Dunstan, he is in... Uh, uh, he is with the Republican uh, Party right now. They're responding to the president's uh, speech, the State of the Union. What are they saying out there in Buckhead? All right, Sean, yeah, we're here at Gordon Biersch, and you can see that the party pretty much wrapped up, although you can still see a few people here. Tonight I asked some folks about one of the most pressing issues for the president. We're just 10 days away from another possible shutdown. Do you think it's worth it to have the president build his wall? for a shutdown, possibly? Well, President Trump made a campaign promise. And so for him, this is about maintaining that campaign promise. He also said Mexico would pay for it. That, that, that's true. Uh, and that, I, don't, I do not think that's going to happen. But for him, it's a very important point. I, I don't see how we can have national security and be able to protect our borders without building a wall. But some people say it's actually the ports of entry, not necessarily the border where some of the problems are happening. Well, there's also um, issues and matters that are being addressed at those ports of entry. I don't think that we should ignore what's happening at the border. And for this crowd, the biggest applause lines came when the president mentioned economic progress, also the military. We're live in Buckhead. Mike Dunstan, CBS 46 News. Mike, thank you.